Alrighty guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So, as you can see, I'm here at the house now. Uh, just introduced a little baby girl to the world on on Tuesday. So, yeah, Tuesday? No, Monday. Monday we had our little baby girl on the 28th. So I'm at home for a couple weeks with Mama. Make sure everything's going smooth with her before I hit the road. So, before we get into that, a um, couple things. Just office things. Patreon's still live. One-on-one -on -one coaching link in the description um what else do we got my website is up i'm gonna put a link in the description for that if you're looking for those hot shot startup notes the easier way to get them they're gonna be under the new blog section on my website just so it keeps me from having to send out so many emails so just go check it out over there i just figured that would be a little easier for people to get those and um What's number three? I had number three. Oh, my personal channel is in the uh, description as well. Um, I go pretty much daily on there. You'll see more once I hit the road on there, but go check it out. Go subscribe to me. We're going to do a little giveaway over there when we get to a thousand. But um, since I'm off and I've been working with um, some issues here within the company uh, as far as payment, uh, getting paid from customers that are direct long-term multiple unit customers but before we get into that I wanted to go over um, we're gonna start with the uh, the payment types most of this is for car hauling but it does apply to freight uh, but payment terms are gonna be different depending on who your customer is or who the broker is um, so there is a couple different types of payment um, and these are what I use as a business um, number one is prepayment um, customer will pay you ahead of time to book that spot. I will do this in a situation where they say I need you there um, on the 20th at 2 p.m. to load up. I always get a prepayment for that. So I know they're serious, so my time's not wasted. I tell them that you know if they do cancel, um, there's a certain fee, 100 bucks or 10%, or that I'm keeping for you know taking that appointment spot. Um, Another one is cash on delivery. As soon as you make the delivery, you're paid cash check, however. Cash on pickup. Uh, this happens uh, with me when a dealership is paying for the transport of a vehicle. So you go to pick up the vehicle, um, say you're delivering it to a customer across state, they'll pay you um, when you pick the vehicle up and then you go deliver it. Um, another term you'll hear in this world is quick pay. Uh, quick pay is usually around two days. Uh, once receiving a bill of lading, the company will send you either a check or um, do a ACH and within two days of receiving that bill of lading. Um, we'll get into that though. Um, now, these are the ones that nobody likes. 10 day, 15 day, 30, 60, 90 day pay, depending on what you're hauling and who you're hauling for, could be up till 90 days till you get paid tell you a way to get around that um, and another one that I do is do on invoice so um, once the invoice is received payment is due then uh, through QuickBooks you can see um, when the invoice is open or if you're hand delivering the invoice they know that you know the check needs to be cut then within the day or payment needs to be made um, I this is how I bill my my dealerships I do multiple units with um, but let me, we're in, I got my notes here in front of me, so I want to hit on a few things. Uh, so the most convenient way uh, to get paid is obviously cash on delivery or cash on pickup. That way the money is guaranteed in your hand as soon as you complete or start the service. Um, now, once you're an established company, sometimes COD and COP aren't um, necessarily um, what you're always going to be looking for because you're going to be looking for the best rate but you know COD loads when starting out is a big major cash flow option for your business um, just think about this so you run 2,500 miles in a week 10 miles to the gallon two dollars and fifty cents a gallon average that's six hundred and twenty five dollars out of your pocket if you're not taking loads that are COD, do you have $2,400 a month in just fuel to shell out out of pocket without bringing in the income? Now, you are going to get paid eventually, but the thing is, how long, how much capital did you have saved up? 
COD and COP just keep the cash flow rolling, keep money in your pocket, and you're guaranteed it's right there in your hand. Um, so the prepayment I went over um, about how I use QuickBooks and the customer can pay credit card or bank transfer to um, you know block off that time within your company if you need to be there at a certain time. Say a customer is meeting another guy to purchase a vehicle. He wants a transport truck to be there at the purchase ready to go. Um, that's when I would do prepayment so I know they're serious and they can I can block off that spot for them. Um, so let's go to quick pay. Oh, hold on. Quick pay. Um, so what quick pay is a company may offer this um, to take a percentage off of what you are owed, two to five percent, depending on how quick and what company you're working with, um, to get paid quicker. So a company may say, hey, for five percent off your total invoice, we will send you the payment within two days, either being check or deposit into your bank account. It's all different with who you're dealing with, what broker, what company, but sometimes like the COD and the COP, getting your money, you know, 99 or 98% of your money is better than chasing money in the long run. So company checks, we'll move on to those, which are the 10, 15, 30, 60, sometimes 90 days in the freight world, um, which I don't really like, but that's what we're going to get into. So any you know invoices that you are waiting 15 plus days for, 10 plus days for even, a factoring company will be you know your biggest advantage. What happens with a factoring company is they buy your invoice, your total invoice, say your invoice is $1,000. They buy that, they pay you out next day usually, for a certain percentage. All factoring companies are different from what percentage they take, so I'm not even going to get into that. But, you know, for a small fee, the liability is on them now to get paid. Once they pay you and accept that liability, your hands are clear of it and you're getting paid the next day, which can be very, very, very helpful, especially in the freight world. Um, it is very common for companies not to pay for 30, 60, or 90 days. And companies, especially small companies like me, can't, can't afford to you know, wait that long for payment, especially on thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. And when you're like a one-man band, you know, having to remember that you never got paid for an invoice that was 30 or 60 days ago when you've hauled you know, X amount of loads in between, it's easy to forget that. Um, so the factoring company is going to be your best bet in a situation like that. But moving on, due on invoice. So this is what my problem has been. So payment is due as soon as the invoice is sent, which I usually send my invoices as soon as the, um, say I deliver on a Friday to your dealership. I had 12 cars I moved that week. You'll get an invoice Friday afternoon for those 12 cars. So my invoice will consist of a weekly report of all the vehicles hauled, where they were from, um, the last six of the VIN number and the rate on them. So 12 vehicles, some six were 100, six were 150 a piece. It'll show that breakdown on each vehicle. So this payment type is, is difficult to collect on sometimes with dealerships. Some are better than others. What happens is the paperwork gets lost. So paperwork needs to go to um, accounts payable by either two ways. You can send it directly to accounts payable and what I recommend is finding someone in that department that knows what they're doing and I've had to do that. I've had to chase people down for money. So um, you gotta find somebody you know that knows what they're doing in accounts payable. Make sure they're receiving the invoice. So what I do is the sales manager or um, salesman or whoever, service manager, whoever contracted me to do the work, they'll get a copy and accounts payable will get a copy. Because accounts payable will have to get it signed off by whoever authorized it. So they'll, they'll both have a copy and when they go to you know authorize it, they already know what they're talking about. So they, they'll both have a copy in their email. Um, so most dealerships will pay you within 30 days some as quick as weekly. I have a few small dealerships. As soon as they get the invoice, they're going to send me a check or they're 
they pay me by credit card, uh, depending on whatever they feel like doing. Not many dealerships are going to pay you by credit card because you're, they're going to pay interest on that. They're just going to mail out a check. So my words of advice after giving you guys a little rundown on these payment types that are new to the business, or some people, you know, if you haul, you know, cars, you don't know what the freight world's like, that you would never expect to have to wait 60 days to get paid. But my words of advice is don't ever feel like you're bothering someone for payment. Once that transport is complete and your obligations are met, you did your job, you have all right to that money. I used to be like a little timid or, you know, lackadaisical on sending that invoice or sending that reminder, typing out that email or even picking up the phone and making a call. Very few times have I had to actually walk into the dealership and show my face so they know that, oh, yeah, we forgot to do this. Um, but sometimes it happens. You never know. So don't feel like you're bothering them. You have all right to that money, and it's very important for your company. But with that being said, guys, we'll see you on the next one. We're going to have some more instructional videos this week while I'm off. Uh, so if you enjoy it, hit the uh, like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.